This video is going to show you how to use the event, Eventbrite app. So first go to your um, app store and download the Eventbrite app. Then go ahead and click on the app and you will be prompted to log in with your username and password. Once you're done there, um, logging in, then you are going to be able to take a look at all of your events that you've signed up for. The first thing you're going to see are events near you, advertising, anything It says top picks for you, but that's not what you want to do. You want to see the tickets that you've signed up for. So come down here and click on um, the little guy in the lower right, and that will jump you to your um, events that you've signed up for. You'll see at the top it says that I have 69 tickets and it's just showing me a few of my tickets right here and down at the bottom I can click on see all and I will see all the tickets both my current tickets and then my past tickets as well and then if I want to click on any details I just click on the particular um, ticket I'll click on the sharp tail grouse ticket and this will show the details notice that I can add it to my calendar I can view it on a map and I can click on event listing to see the entire description. So um, those are all the different things that you can do. Um, up in the upper corner you'll see three dots and if you click on those three dots you'll see that you can contact the organizer there and that will go to the leader. Um, unfortunately you cannot cancel a reservation through the app. You have to use the um, browser on on your computer to do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at using using the browser. So I'm going to click out here and it's going to be Safari or Chrome if you're on an Android device. So I'm going to click on my Safari right here and that's going to bring this open. Now I don't want to click on open in the app because I can't do much in the app. And then the first thing that I have to do is click on the menu here and bring down and sign in. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter my email and what whatever email I signed up for the event in. So once I'm logged in, again, I'm going to see some events that are happening in Great Falls that it's suggesting I might want to do. But instead, I want to go up here by my name, and I put my own picture in here, but you probably just have a little blank guy. And it's the same as on a computer. You pull down this little down arrow right here, and you can go to um, tickets and you'll see that I have six current tickets. If I'm a leader I can click on the manage events but I'm going to go to tickets and it's going to show me all of the tickets that I currently have signed up for and if I want to again I click on the ticket itself and you'll notice that I can cancel the order here or I can contact the organizer at this point. So um, if I scroll down, notice that I can also click on edit and edit any information in here, such as my cell phone number um, or any other information that is in here. I can view the complete attendee info. And again, if I click edit and I can't drive after all, I can make all these changes and scroll down to the bottom and click save. So if I can drive, I should go back into these and I should also double check that my email is correct because if the email isn't correct or your phone number there's no way for the hike leaders to contact you. So go ahead and click on the edit and change all of the information. When you're done there click back. So hopefully that helps you edit your information, cancel, and also see what information that you have. If you want to edit your profile and put your picture in there, you can do that too.